Facilitating Global Eco Balance. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 224. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 224, July 9th, 2017 edition. This week's topic, facilitating global eco balance. Why do I want to talk about that? Because I think that our planet could probably use a little bit more eco balance. And what is eco balance anyway? Well, I think that eco balance is a relationship between humanity and our planet that is win win, that supports our planet because our planet supports us. And right now, I think that we're a bit out of eco balance and we could use a way to restore balance to our planet. And I think that the only way to really accomplish that is by creating a win for humanity first. Because I think if people were just going to do it for altruistic reason, reasons, for humanitarian reasons, for ecological reasons, they would already be done. And that's not happening. I don't think enough people are participating. So our organization is purpose to create a method for participating and creating a better world for everybody that meets people's selfish needs. That is a win for people and a win for the planet whether or not people do it for the planet. So people just do it for themselves. Our idea is that if we can make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and here's the important one, attractive enough, pleasurable and enjoyable enough, so that people want to participate not just for sustainability reasons, but because it provides a better way of living than the alternative, than alternatives, then the ideal is spread on its own. And so to make that happen, to facilitate global eco-balance through this model, we are open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations for replication. And we're creating one community as a place that people will be able to visit and experience everything that we're doing. So if they like it, they can have the experience of liking it and then go and replicate it because everything we're doing is open source and free share. And the way we see this facilitating global eco-balance is by that self-replicating process. One community as a physical location is meant to be a place that when people experience it, if they like it enough, then it provides everything that's necessary for them to go and replicate it. And because it's built on a foundation of sustainability, because it really works best and most effectively, and perhaps only if it's built on a sustainable foundation, a foundation that can build its own housing, can produce its own food, and can generate its own electricity and also provide an educational model, provide an ecotourism model so that people could come and visit and experience it and that generates enough revenue for a constant expansion. All these components when put together create a teacher demonstration hub specifically purposed and capable of producing additional teacher demonstration hubs too. And through this idea of a self-replicating model made easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so it really starts to self-replicate, we can create a world that works for everybody. We can build a sustainable civilization for the benefit of all of humanity and all life on this planet and facilitating global eco-balance, not because, not just because people believe it's the right thing to do or the best thing to do, but because it provides more of what people want in a manner that is demystified, that is accessible, that has a clearly defined and identified financial investment, labor investment, and outcome of more free time, more things to do with that free, free time, higher quality food, you know, better quality air and water and way of living for everybody that is experiencing it in a, a format that people could come and experience if they're skeptical or if they don't know or they're just curious. 
one community is meant to be that place, a place where people can come and say, well, I don't know if I'm really interested in this, but I'd like to check it out. And you can stay in an earth bag home, or you can stay in the Dubuque City Center, or you can see exactly what the education model is all about. Not to mention that the whole thing is open source and free shared on the internet, so you don't have to come and visit. People can just explore what it is that we're doing through virtual tours and through YouTube videos and things like that. And so this is what we're doing. Everything that you see happening in the background of the screen right now on this video is what we're creating. This is how we're creating, this is how we're facilitating global eco balance through creating and free sharing everything that we're doing by creating step-by-step -step tutorials for replication, building towards that point where we launch one community and hundreds and then thousands and then tens of thousands of people can come and visit and experience what it is that we're doing. And if they're interested in replicating it, just follow all the resources, use all the resources to do that. Or if they'd like to do something different, or even better, if they'd like to create something even better, great. And, and if they'd like to work with us, if they believe that open sourcing and free sharing is a way to creating a better world for everybody, and they'd like to put in the extra time and energy to open source and free share their modifications, adaptations, or just the data for doing exactly what it is that we've done, then we want to work directly with those organizations to help add to the collection of open source and free share tools, tutorials, resources, and demonstration hubs so that people have more variety so we can promote their organization, their projects as well, and working in collaboration, cooperation, create even more self-replicating models even faster. This is how we're facilitating global equal balance and anybody can participate. So with all that said, and we're an all-volunteer organization too, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're a 100% volunteer organization and a nonprofit organization. So every donation that we get, everything that we're doing goes back into the organization and creating more of what it is that we're doing. So this is what we're up to. And now let's see one week of our team's progress and accomplishments and what we're working on. Reminder, this is an all-volunteer team. So everything that you see happening is all-volunteer work. Let's check it out. Here's the updates. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued building the SketchUp 3D version of the net zero bathroom for the Earth Bank Village. This last week, we updated the perspectives and added last needed details for the final rendering and rendered images with the Earth Bag Village in the background. The core team additionally began building the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 in SketchUp so we can use it as a backdrop for the external open source elements we'll include with this village. The core team also added new menus, details, a new resource section, and new advantages and disadvantages sections to the Recycled Materials Village Open Source Hub. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 21st week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was adding another round of details and imagery to the final presentation. You can see some of this new work here, and we'd say we're about 90% done with the presentation now. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 18th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was researching and designing two more water storage layouts, as shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 76 of Dean's work. This week's focus was more dining area details and beginning the kitchen design details. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 30th week of work, focusing on 3D SketchUp development of the central area between the north and south residential wings. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders. What you see here are updated renders of the game room structure, shower structure, and a few screenshots from our weekly collaborative call. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued work on the DIY pipe furniture tutorial page. 
This week we added anchor links to both the pipe table section and the pipe couch sections, added the instruction image parts list, created a new pipe table materials image and pipe couch materials image, and created a diagrams collage and an extra diagram image for the diagram section of the pipe table section. Ashwin Patil, web developer, finished version 1.0 of the highest good energy search engine creation behind the scenes. You can see some of this work here. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, also continued the work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was more research and calculations for the various types of connectors we'll be using, some of which you can see here. Jennifer Zhao, web designer, also began the first round of content editions and formatting for the wind power tutorial. You can see some of these pictures of this work in progress here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 40th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was lighting testing and modeling for three more angles within the social dome, as shown here. Bomzi Puller Gertha, mechanical engineer, also completed the research and initial content for the soil section of his thermal lag report for the city center heating and cooling open source hub. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team did the calculations and created an image for the storage details for all the bulk goods on the food self-sufficiency transition plan page, as you can see here. We also put another five hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we researched the waterproofing tape and found a post cap hanger for stabilizing the hexayurt walls and calculated specific post cap quantities and prices. We then began formatting the write-up for the Google Doc by gathering photos and placing on the doc and noting the purpose of the materials. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Freedom Lesson Plan and the Highest Good Lesson Plan. This brings us to 34 of 52 finished, which is approximately 65% completion. We also began the research and initial organization of the school licensing and accreditation tutorial. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team completed all but the FAQ section of the content and formatting for the open source and replicable annual social media strategy. You can see some screenshots of this work here. We also began testing video approaches for sharing where all of our collaborators and volunteers are from. When complete, this will be part of the introduction video and also a static image at the top of our team and collaborators page. When complete, this will be a part of the introduction video and also a static image at the top of our team and collaborators pages. And we researched and upgraded our website servers to improve site speed and stability. Well, there you have it. There's one week of facilitating global eco-balance progress from Team One Community. If you'd like more details, more specifics, and links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to One Community Updates and we'll add you to our email list, uh, onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our email list. Or you can follow us through social media, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Uh, also, as always, thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the likes and shares. It's the easiest way to participate in our project. If you'd like to help us out, share our information. Help us get the information out there. Introduce people to our project. We're still seeking large-scale funding, and so the more you help us share our project, the easier it is for us to connect with people that we know are out there that are capable of funding our projects so that we can get our property, the property we're interested in building on off the market so that we can uh, start doing all the open source content, all the open source details that can't be done until we own that property, and so we can move forward to the next level.
But most importantly, thanks for watching to the end. Thanks for following our progress. And, uh, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.